Let's see, it was a Linda. Linda. Was it Linda? Yes! <laughs> Linda! Trust it was not, this is the second Linda. It was the first Linda. <laughs> Linda! Yeah, oh, Ben's the. Oh, I know, I know. Bless your heart. You, you know what? I should give you permission to write a book. I really should. Funny one. Really good, yes. But Linda, the first one, the first one who actually lived at 419 Newport Avenue. This is the last one you guys said. God, aren't you, aren't you so happy for me? Aren't you like, oh my God. Yes, yes. Don't ask, I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. I really, all I can say is, well, I'm, woo, yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah. Here I am. Okay. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh, but it was that Linda, the other Linda, that actually had these Janis Joplin records, okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, she had a lot of them. And I, I started listening to them, really studying them. I mean, I, my parents had Pearl, and that was great, but she had this, she had like all of them, all the albums, and I would listen to them during the day over and over, and I'm like, that's what I want to do. That's the sort of intensity I want to present when I play. And I remember talking to her about, well, I really want to perform this song. It's such a crazy song. You think I can do it? She's like, yeah, go ahead and try. And so right here in this bar, right there, over there, I don't know if I had the light yet or not. See, I've been hanging around, guys. I've been having a good time. And, you know, I was hanging out, and I thought I found me a, a real love, a good love, a true love. Yes, I did. I thought I found me a, a real. Well, I mean, I was. I knew I was in love because it had been a whole two weeks, yeah. and it was going great. You know. So it must have been love. It was love. I know it was love. And there I was because because I didn't need food anymore. <laughs> no, I could just stay, well, there all day and all night. And, you know, I could I could subside on Captain Crunch and orange juice. And, yeah. Yeah, and it was a beautiful time. And then one, one morning, she just rolled over and she said, honey, I gotta go feed my dog. <laughs> what dog? Huh? <laughs> what dog? All right, all right, you go feed your dog. I'll wait right here. That's right, you know what? I'll just sit on the edge of the bed, baby. I'm just gonna wait right here. And that's where my friends found me. <laughs> Waiting right there. I said, oh, come on, get dressed. We're going to the bar. <laughs> Why is it your friends take you back to the place that you got in trouble with in the first place? Huh? <laughs> I mean, really, they should take me to the bakery or something. <laughs> Not the bar. Oh, uh, well, you know, the bar is a place where you have a couple of those drinks, and all of a sudden things start feeling good, right? Yeah, it's feeling all right, yes. And I could, I got over it. I got over it, and I could, I could sit at home by myself after a while, and back then I'd watch Cagney and Lacey reruns. And... No, no. Oh, she's gay. I know she's gay. She's gay. Jeez. There's a guy in the Yeah. And one night I was watching me some Cagney and Lacey, and there was a knock on my door. Yeah. And I said, hmm, I recognize those knocks. <laughs> this is what I used to say. That's right. And so I opened the door and <gasps> there she was. Huh. And I thought, well, there's a few things I want to say to you because, you know, that was rude. 